this next high mileage Ram episode brought to you by Real Truck. If you don't mind, stick around to the end of the video. I've got some more information I want to share with you. Hey everybody, welcome back to Truck Central. I'm Mr. Justin Wheeler and this is the 2019 Ram 1500 Limited High Mileage Edition. Now as you have seen, we have been generously gifted with some goodies from Realtruck.com. They gave us the Diablo Trinity 2 tuner, the SNB cold air intake, as well as some wheel spacers to try out. And I figure it's time that we kind of follow up and do a, um, you know, a 10, 15, I guess almost 20,000 mile review on how those products are holding up. Now, since I can't really show you how well the tuner's holding up, let me kind of just talk about it and give you my feelings on kind of where my head is at on it and whether or not I feel like it's a good buy for you. So I'm a obviously a very high mileage driver i spend a significant amount of time on the road um, so the more data that i can get from my truck the better uh, you know i'm constantly constantly looking at tire pressure when i'm towing i'm looking at my trans temp um, you know any more of these trucks are really good about giving you warnings before you actually need them but uh it's still better to have that information now, for somebody who's really wanting to optimize the performance of their vehicle, I can undoubtedly say that having that tuner and applying whatever tune is specific to your vehicle or your needs is absolutely invaluable. The, the way that you can kind of program and change on the fly and then upload custom tunes from third-party manufacturers, not manufacturers, but third-party programmers, very cool feature overall. Now, for me, I, I don't really have a heavy foot. Like I said, I drive a lot, but I'm not, you know, I don't floor from stoplight to stoplight, and I don't ever take this thing to the strip, but I do like the kind of the moderate tune, the, uh, you know, just kind of the baseline tune that it gives you. Better better acceleration, better, better throttle response without really kind of jeopardizing, uh, you know, the kids running down the street. You're not uh, doing zero to 60 pulls down the neighborhood the the way that it does log and the way that it has track time settings very cool would be very helpful if that's the kind of lifestyle you live the best value i get out of it is checking engine codes now i probably shouldn't have engine codes but i am getting some check engine lights fairly frequently luckily it's the same one every time it's that um emissions evap uh, code that it throws 0406 I think I can't remember um, but the nice thing about it is is because that code comes and goes it does I never know if it's something new or if it's that same recurring check engine code so having the programmer here when that pops up which is once or twice every couple weeks I'm able to go in there and, and ensure that there's not a problem the only check engine light I have is that same kind of lingering issue that we've had. So wheel spacers have held up really well. Those were actually the first thing that I put on this truck. That's been, goodness, that's been close to 20,000 miles since I put those on. And I put on the, the quarter inch cast spacers, the non-hub centric. And I know those, those scare people sometimes because, you know, it's, it's kind of, they work as well as they were installed. So if you take the time to properly install them, clean the face of your rotor, make sure that there's good contact, make sure that it's as evenly centered or properly centered as you can, you're gonna get good performance out of it, just like I am. I've had tire rotations, I've had new tires put on, I've taken the wheels and tires off since I've had it on there and they are in perfect shape and we'll go ahead and we'll even pull one off here in a second i can show you what i'm talking about all right let's check out these spacers what in sam darnold that's not my lung lock what well folks i really wanted to show you the condition of the wheel spacer however it looks like the 
guys that put my tires on returned me with the uh, wrong lug lock. This is not the size or shape that I need. Justin from the future here, and I really wanted to show you how these wheel spacers are holding up, so I went back to the tire shop, got my lug lock, and pulled off one of the wheels for you. Here is one of our quarter inch wheel spacers after, goodness, dozens of thousands of miles, easily 20, and it is holding up perfectly, very straight, no nicks, no cracks, absolutely no damage, no wear. So just show you guys, even these thinner, uh, cast spacers can be uh, safe and effective when used properly and then finally the cold air intake which was a fun installation to add to the truck um, I've got to tell you I've been kind of waiting for this moment because I know what I put this truck through and I know what the inside of that engine bay looks like since I've installed it I have not cleaned the engine compartment one time and I've popped the hood a couple times uh, when I had to install a new battery I popped the hood and that SMB intake box is just covered in filth lots of dirt mud sand all over it it looks filthy I'm really interested to see if any of that dirt has made it into that uh, intake box I hope it hasn't um, but if it has I mean I guess I kind of expected so we're gonna jump under the hood we are going to take the cover off we're gonna pull the filter out it's it's I'm overdue honestly on doing the filter maintenance uh, most people they they probably only have to do it once a year but obviously I got to do it a little more often than that so we'll pull the cover off get it cleaned up real good see what it looks like and then we will uh, do the filter maintenance put it back on and uh, show you how that process goes All right, so you saw that we kind of cleaned on her a bit. This was just covered in a layer of dirt. It looks like the filter's pretty clean. So now, we're, now that we know that we're not gonna knock any dirt in, we'll take out the four Phillips screws or bolts, pull the filter off, and then we will be using the SMB Precision 2 cleaning and oiling kit to service this. The way it works is you spray it with a cleaner, rinse it real good, let it dry completely, and then you reapply the filter oil and you can choose between red or blue when you clean it it turns white then when you give it the color that's how you know you've got a good saturation of oil and then you put it back and it even gives you this handy little dispenser that tells you exactly how much you should be using so it makes it kind of dummy proof all right let's pull it out all right let's get in here close you can see there is a fine layer of dust some bugs made it through, but I think that came in through the grill. A couple little bugs, um, but this isn't a closed system. It's not designed to keep out every single particulate. It's just designed to minimize the, the solids and then filter the best it can. So, looks pretty good. We'll finish whipping her out here and soak her down with the cleaner. Nice little dirty spot there on the bottom, you see that? Okay, but for the most part, nice and clean. Now it is fairly specific about how not to do this. You don't want to use compressed air, you don't want to use pressurized water. You want to use a soft brush. You want to knock out as much of the solids as you can, and there's not much here. Um, and then you take the cleaner, and then you soak it down. It says here, uh, rid the air filter by lightly tapping it. Spray cleaner generously over entire filter and let soak for 10 minutes. So, that's what we're gonna do. 
Prime. Here we go. I did not have a ton of success getting this quite as clean as they do in their instructions. But in order to play it safe, I'm going to leave it at slightly pink and reapply a little less oil because they were very clear about not applying too much pressure to this element here. So just letting it dry out real good. It says, you, it, says it might take up to 24 hours. It's been sitting here in the sun for close to three hours now and it is very dry. I'm going to let it sit a little bit longer and we'll start applying the oil. All right, guys, we got the filter dried, well, clean, dried, and then oiled. Looks good as new. I didn't show the oiling process mainly because, one, it's boring, and two, I don't want to mislead you and you do it the wrong way and you screw up something on your truck. So we're going to put that back in. I'm not going to show that because it's just the reverse of how it came out. The maintenance process wasn't bad, but I'll be honest, I work seven days a week and needing the time to take it out clean it, saturate it, rinse it, dry it, then oil it and put it back in. It's a little time consuming. So if you don't have full days off on the weekends to do this kind of stuff, maybe consider going with the, uh, the non-cleanable uh, element that they do offer. I'm probably gonna order that next time, just see how I like it. It's, it's a little more convenient. The cost is a little higher, uh, but sometimes you pay for convenience. One of the nice things about the reusable, cleanable, re-oilable, if that's the word, element is that it comes with enough oil and cleaner that you could, a person that's not a mileage maniac is probably going to be able to get two, three, maybe four years out of one uh, maintenance kit. So that's pretty good. I know I didn't get to show you guys the actual spacers because of my lug locks, but I know they're in good shape. If they weren't, I wouldn't be riding so smooth. There's no vibration. There's no... Uh, any shimmy it rides just as smooth as it did before I got it and the tune uh, Diablo Trinity is it's great I've had absolutely no issues with it installed easy keeps me on my toes lets me know when something's actually wrong or when there's actually not a problem and that is a good peace of mind so like I mentioned before I got all these parts from realtruck.com if you've got time shoot on over there see if there's anything that fits your needs Leave me a comment, and as always, thanks for watching.